Hello again, I'm Alenville, and we're just gonna keep moving forward, fast paced. So, since we are right at this point, it's about um how the killer got to the, how the person who hid the knife got to the knife, aka the killer right now. And we found out it was the power cord of the desk lamp, so there's only one person. Nagito was the closest for that, so he's did it. Nagito's chance to hide the knife on the table was when it was clean, right after the murder. Nope. Right after the blackout doesn't make any sense, except right before the blackout doesn't make sense either. When he was cleaning! He was. All day, actually. Yes. If you factor in the power cord and the time you stay clean, you're the only one who could have done it. Exactly. Otherwise he would have seen somebody. Seriously? That's all just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Perhaps. Kinda. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? He didn't rig the drawing. Not now I feel the killer or not. But regardless, it seems that you're suspicious, right? Right, Chiaki. <laughs> That's that strange speech you made earlier. That was part of your plan too. That was it's right, it was part of the plan. Nope. Well, just admit it already. <laughs> now you tell me you objected to this. And frankly, I don't want to believe it either. Yeah. You investigated Seth. And you're so kind. You should say you're the one who killed Yaki. Mm. Good speech, man. <laughs> say something. This hair ruffling. And now he goes full bunkers. Yeah. Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly as a flare. Upon layers of darkness were folding on to each other, as if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. Yes. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. Right. I love how this soon fades into him. Fate to him. In the court, I'm the one who caused the blackout. Yes. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone. Right. Kind of. Is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? A little is kind of friendly, to be honest. Yes, it did. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? 
Nothing, he's showing his true colors. Kinda. He just toned down his personality a bit. Yeah, seems that way. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching fatties at their games, just like me. Okay. That's quite the hobby you have there. But but now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy is he is he the real Nagito? Hey Nagito. If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep. There's nobody else in this town who can stand by me. That is a mistake. Mm, mine's not even much better. But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? To get him to act the way he wants. I think it's the more decent thing. It was probably easy to find someone who would stop my behavior. Nah, I'm not so sure about that one. Well, Nah. Are you making fun of us? Nah, he's not. He's actually just stating the truth in himself. Shiaki used fuzz always. Then, how about that old looking building near the hotel? Well, if it's just clean, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. Nope. Right. Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, and it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. And I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed there for a long time, I think it'd be bad for your health. <clears throat> in that case. Why don't you guard the case in the office? Oh, I can. If Tenpo was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the iron. Right. Threatening letter, along with all your suggestions. It was all a trap and manipulation. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's true too. Yeah. If that's true, then how did you conveniently get hit for cleaning duty? Because he has that look. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember that. Worthless talent for a worthless human. I can just tell him. I believe his talent was the ultimate transporter? Nope. The ultimate lucky student? Hmm. The ultimate unlucky student? Ultimate baby face. He's a baby face in my regards, but that's something else. Bam! He's the ultimate lucky student. Ultimate lucky student. Huh? You? That's right. I always trusted my luck. I trusted I'd get picked for cleaning duty. Exactly. Just relied on your luck. He did. It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student. Yeah. Huh? I'm left with the red mark? Haha. <laughs> For someone called the lucky ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. He was extremely lucky. Right. Oh yeah, that's a bit of a hit for him. Importantly, why did you kill Biakuya? Answer me! Biakuya was a very capable leader. Was someone like him to get killed? 
That's the th that's his thing. He wants to be the stepping stone to help us shine even brighter due to despair. Yeah. He isn't, but he's actually kind of logical with that, not making sense. Let's not vote. Yeah, good question. He has. We can't push through. You know the truth. Tone down the bad personality, bitch. No. Don't be sorry. For now, might I suggest you listen to what she has to say? Thank you, Sonia. No. At this point, I, white lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reaction. Your truth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines. The thing of them are also closing it to me. Please time your truth bullet just so they won't get interrupted by the white noise. By the way, if the difficulty set is gentle, the white noise won't appear at all. In that case, all this uh, no meaning whatsoever. Please don't worry, I'm not going to fall into despair. Even though it's meaningless, allow me to say one more thing. This debate you won't be able to shoot down the white noise, I'll be explaining it later. If you press start controls, good luck and have fun. Yeah, white noise and purple. No reason to deny it. It is. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Biakio with the lightning bolt. That's wrong. Because he, the knife would be too big for the holes. That knife might not be the murderer. Just as one of you said, right, Mikan? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. No. Exactly. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll throw your fucking ass to a whorehouse. Hey, don't do that to her. <laughs> With your tripping and positioning, it could help you actually, but let's not pull it through there. Why are you touching her? Because they're all on an edge. Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. Exactly. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. No, no, no. Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. <laughs> but she's right. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Yes. Like during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Biakuna that we don't know about? No, he's just doing it for fun. What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Oh, if you cross your eyes like that, it gives you double vision. Don't do it. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know? Nope. Whose life is at stake? 
ours. Not gonna thank you. But somebody's hearing is good. The truth is beyond us that no, that can't be it. Should be a way to find out what happened in the dark. Let's see. Ibuki. Ibuki was able to discern all the noises people were making during the blackout. Hmm. Turn that one in. Exactly. Oh. Don't act so surprised. <laughs> you were the one who told me, remember? When everyone was shouting during the blackout? Shh. Everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Look! Those devils I see! Huh? What the hell? What's going on here? This is. Ow! Ow. Kitchen? Yeah. Perhaps the plates are overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. You won't do anything. Jeez. Perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. Well. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. Um, <clears throat> Miss Pot. Kettle called. You're black too. God damn it. <laughs> You've got me beat with your knife of truth. I like your style. You're not my favorite, but your style's okay. However, after hearing what's left of our magical heavenly fire. What the hell? What's going on here? This is this is Ow. almost sounds like the aftermath. Kinda. Of. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. Okay. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Yara. Right. Shoved out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Kiyaku, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. What happened? That's right. I was so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. Exactly. So Biakia stopped him when he was trying to get back the, get the knife. He got shoved out from under the table before he could grab it. Well, it sounds possible. I mean, just from listening from what they both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on? We're not gonna go flashback there. Let's jump over that one. I could interpret it, interpret it like that. No, actually, now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. Right. Yep. That's exactly what he's saying. From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Yaku's night vision goggles. That's how it went down. What happened after that? Even I don't know. Yep. Yes, and he told you. Congratulations. Right. Right. 
And I'm going bonkers again! Is Nakito really not the killer? Is this guy really the Nakito I knew before? No. There's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him. But this whole time, I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now is not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Byakuya's killer by any means possible. If, because if we don't, we, we will die here. And with this, the class trial is suspended for a short moment. And then I'm going to use this time to stop right here. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. What else is there left to say except... Love, love, and bye-bye!